Easter Saturday, the one with tattooed hands. When I was little, I would climb upon my grandfather's knee and pretend to be in need of medical care. He, a pharmacist by trade, would look earnestly at my pretend wound. Then with expert hands and using the names of various potions sold in his pharmacy, he would find the necessary ointments and bandages and set about cleansing and dressing the wound making everything better. No props were needed, no makeshift creams or strips of cloth. Everything was enacted through his touch. A dispassionate man in so many other ways, this was how he showed his love for me. His hands were comforting, and long after he'd gone, the memory of his hands is what I treasured most about him. There are other hands I treasure and remember, still with me to this day, and they will never go away. They are scarred, but beautiful to me. They speak of endless love and sacrifice, and there is healing in their touch. At the centre of each palm, a perfect bloom, the mark of a heavy hammer striking the wide head of an iron nail, pinning flesh against wood, tearing through muscle and sinew and splintering bone his wound a fragile flower to win his beloved. Look closer and see the name of her engraved upon his skin, an outward sign, a permanent reminder of her place in his heart and deep affections. She is ever before him and it will always be that way. Isaiah 49. 15 and 16. You have said, God has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. I am all alone. God responds, but how could a loving mother forget her nursing child and not deeply love the one she bore? Even if there is a mother who forgets her child, I could never, no never, forget you. Can't you see? I have carved your name on the palms of my hands. Your walls are always my concern.